Welcome to the free to play the legend series where I do what the title says and give you hearthstone tips along the way Today's deck is Highlander Paladin which I edited from the free deck list you get after completing the apprentice ranks I'm going against a quest paladin which will be aggressive since I only have one of each board removal in my deck I need to be careful when I use my board clears or else I'll be overrun. That's why I coined out a 2 drop so I have board presence to stop their minions. Since I know the quest paladin will summon a lot of 1 health minions, I like the early 1-3 for the value trades. Also I stream this series live so subscribe Ooh. if you want more. My 1-3 is now a 1-2 you fool! What year was I born in? Yeah, you can guess. Cause I have a feeling a lot of people don't know I have no idea my actual- Oh, it's gonna be Avenge, so maybe City Tax is the better play here. Cause they're gonna upgrade their hero power soon, cause their next hero power is 2-2. I think I can use the hero power or City Tax in a better scenario. It's gonna be a 3-2, so I'm gonna do this, it's gonna proc Avenge. Yep. But I- It's not even Avenge, I'm just the better player. Just the minions better. Yeah. Oh, that's so annoying for them. <laughs> How many lines of code was it again? They said it was such an insane line of code. Oh my. Uh, I don't know, but is it Kazakhstan? Kazakhs in dragon form? Is it? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I re like. I wish I could tell you, but I don't. If you're nine, if you're one of nine, do you remember Spiral the Dragon? I do remember Spiral the Dragon. See here, here's one of the scenarios where city tax is better. Yep. This was a very simple example on how saving a board clear can give you more value. Here, city tax got me one more minion removed. But you'll see later, I can get way more value from board clears if I use it right. I think I had really weird childhood games. Who's played Elite Beat Agents? Has anyone played Elite Beat Agents? I gotta show you something about Elite Beat Agents in a few minutes. Malcolm in the middle? Not, I'm gonna be honest, not my favorite. I was not a big Malcolm in the middle person. Is Oh My Yogg still in standard? Yes, it is. No, it's not. I'm just stupid. I really don't like using the Onyxian Rider here to do it like this. What are the... Okay, so one of them is 100%... Oh, I forgot how to do math. <laughs> Oops, ah, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I may have forgotten how to do math, but I do know my game plan right now. I'm trying to swing the board or at least keep it even. I have powerful cards in my hand, so as long as their board doesn't get too strong, I can easily swing the board so I have more and better minions. Then it should be an easy spanking from there. You will see how well that one will go. Oh, no one private. That, that, that is the apprentice or the, the, the bronze one card. Okay, they get Karyl next turn. Oh, jeez. Wait, I'm just looking at the board right now. <gasps> I'm the better player, never mind. If we win against Pyre Warrior, uh, we'll play this first. Let's see what holy spell I get. If you win against Pyre Warrior, then who is to say that the deck is bad? The deck is not bad, because you win against Pyre Warrior. Logic. Unarguable logic right there. Uh-huh, give me that. Their top cost minion is the three mana card that gives their whatever whatever. That made no sense to anyone who was not me. I am so sorry. Their highest cost card is Carnival. Alliance Banner Man, who plays that? You know what? If I were you, I would have just opted to play this and probably get the hero power. You know, you had five mana to play with. You could have played your carryall. You could have hero powered. You would have had a good time. <laughs> you fool! You have activated my trap card! Holy steed is on the- Okay, I'm gonna stop. Ooh. Oh man. Yeah, you tried st Yo, Shadow Priest though? Shadow Priest was fun. I tried making the control version of Shadow Beast. I honestly think just playing Primordial Drake is fine here. I want to take out these Silver Hand Recruits before it gets too late. Give me that, give me that. Primordial Drake, one, two. Reckoning will always hit, or should always hit the whatever. That was a great swing turn right there. I got full board control and have more big minions to drop on the board in the next few turns. I know that was the first turn I could have played Primordial Drake, but still, it was played right on time for me to control the board and go to a winning position in the game. Willingly put yourself in a position. Warlock? Warlock? Have you heard me talk on stream about how much I hate Warlocks? Wait, no way. Oh man. We got three people guessing Warlocks. No way we're saying, yeah, my favorite class is more. No, dude. Okay, come on. Second, more guesses, more guesses. I play a lot of mage? I do play a lot of mage. I thought I had Reckoning on the board. Oh, it died to Fortune Cross. Wow, your divine shield. 
I do play a lot of mage. I think I play a lot of mage just because I like Rune of the Archmage and the randomness factor, so I would say mage is one of them. Mage hey. might be my favorite class. Well played, well played. Check for noble sacks. Do do. Reckoning. <laughs> there we go. Finally, we're in silver. You look more like a priest enjoyer. Not even a priest fan. A priest enjoyer.